Hello. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> excited or trepidation? Which one? Uh, I'm definitely more excited. Yeah. yeah. You know, guess how much time I spent on I don't know. Just guess. Three hours. Two days. Oh, well. Wow. may not seem it, but I, I spent a lot of time just kind of like working on things, going back and forth and kind of like, you know, I know it's your design. I know it's your game and I don't know how much work it takes to change things. And so I'm, I'm not attached to it. You don't have to use any of it, but I just, I thought it'd be kind of cool for you to see what someone else would come up with because I have a sort of a different outlook in terms of what I think is important in the game and what to track in the game and then how to bring in the communication side because I think the communication side is huge any games I've played the best has been when I start interacting with the other players and if this hmm. is the alliances the current communication system you have it it's it's like there's no real contact and I, maybe it's realistic that I don't get to see the bug and he just sends me a message but I think we, you need to start talking with each other. At least the fun part is going to happen when we get to talk to each other. Hmm. And make lights. And make okay. and so looking at the actual game and making it fun, right? Because that's the main thing you want. Because like I'm finding as it's going on, because my metals are so low, and just as it's going on, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. Like I'm, it's fading for me. Like there's not enough impulse to play by pressing some buttons to make some numbers go up. That's what most games are, right? And at some point, every game I played, I fade. Now, other games, they have way more stuff going on, but you have the ability, like what I think the missing can, the missing element is, again, is meeting the other players. And maybe even coming mm -hmm. in as a team of four, I don't know, but and you're interspiced throughout the galaxy, you got to go find each other. You know, that, that has something more in it where you're looking for your other four, then you find them, and then you make your alliance. That's very different from just hanging out a fucking game and just trust it, you know? True. <laughs> so, that said, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, and to, uh, another part is I, I see, I mean, you clearly did a whole game. Like, you, you've done something, I think, fucking amazing like very impressive to, to come up with all the parts and make it work and actually build it design it like that's by itself is is a huge accomplishment for a lifetime and i'm very I, I bow down to your your brilliance and your ability to do that so i feel like i'm again i'm i'm uh, i'm in I, I don't want to interfere or intrude on your design like as a creator right like i know that you want you know there's certain things that you've done that are just like Anyway, I don't know if I've. Uh... No, that's. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, let me let me go find. Let me see. Where is the? Okay, now let me walk. Let me also walk through them before you give any feedback, just so to tell you. Yep. I did certain things. And if you want to open your app, amazement or throw Okay, so now, now the bottom here, looking at the way you've done your, your things, it's like you start with research, right? That's the beginning of everything. The research leads you to the, the designs. And the designs lead you to the ships. The ships lead you to the colonies. And then once you have a colony, you have to govern it. You have to govern them. And that, like, the word civics is like the is, is is to do with individual citizenship. But I think what you're doing is actually governing. I right? I just think the word is different. And then politics is interacting with everybody else. So to me, there's a sequence towards how these things interact. And so you don't have that sequence in my mind in terms of how how they were placed there. Now I'm using the colors of the inflow matrix. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like inflow matrixing because what I see is you have the game and I like the interface, but then we start to, if we make like a game that is actually controlling the planet, it is actually utilizing, you know, a combination of game and business thinking, 
that's how I want to use the framework that you have and then create the game business software system on top of that. So I, I'm already beginning the integration points. So then if you look at the top left, you've got your research points, which you have. But then to me in the game, the actual scores, like the scores that tell you you're doing well, are like how many ships you have, how many colonies you have, and how many allies you have. And so to me, to have that on the front interface going, that's what I'm aiming at. That's what's important. Like I'm not just researching to research, okay, I'm the best researcher. No, I'm researching to accomplish something. What am I accomplishing? Building of ships, making colonies, and making allies. Those are the big things. So they should be counted. And then on your far right, I, I just copied what you did, but just kind of changed the graphics a bit. Um, the halogens, it, it, it doesn't, whenever I look at that symbol, I, I don't even know what it is, but at least looking at gas, like to, to distinguish gas. I'm not quite sure I like the magnetism thing that I picked, but again, it's more color coded. And then it's color coded, then it can be switched into a space, like a space, group space, individual space. It's like training the mind to see in a certain way in a certain game. And then you ch change it into another interface and then you've already got the pathways that are linked up in your mind. So yeah, and to me, this would be a training game and then you go into the deeper system and the, or you press a button and all of a sudden this interface turns into real life interface and now you're into the real game. And that would be part of the very secret plan, which I think would be very cool. Like you got to play this game and go in it, you don't know why, and all of a sudden there's portals into real life, you know? Um, so then underneath it is again, the beginning of the communication system. And that's looking at, you know, what are the most important things is, is you want to keep your contacts, your allies, you want to start talking with them. If I make an ally, I want to start doing like, have these are chat rooms, right? It's come down, alliance form, as you get more people, you create a form and now you've got like a lot of people. And I tell you, when I play these games, that's where people's attention, they play. They, they want to talk to the other people in their alliance. And they get really into it. That fucking Starfleet, man, they get into it. They got an admiral, they got a hierarchy. Then you have yeah, like, uh, then you yeah. have your reporting system. And I was thinking like there's a huge difference between major reports like the colony's just been established versus your telescope thing just came in. <laughs> you know, the telescope thing and the scans, they're just they're very minor. And just distinguishing again, the beginning of distinguishing between well, major, major and minor. So when you get like as these numbers, what we do is we watch the numbers. Oh, I like every time the number goes up is when I get a, like a dopamine hit, right? So these are the numbers I'm going after. These are the goals of the game. And then looking at the lower left, the, sim the symbols, I'm not quite sure I like them all. They're I mean, the beginning of something. The, the politics, I have the uh, constitution there. <laughs> Thinking about real politics what is your own governance system and then how you interact with the rest of the species or something. I'm not so uh, like whatever the symbols are, they need to really kind of stand out. So this is just my first go, you know, just my first go. So over to you, Chief, give me some feedback on what you see here, what you like and what you don't like. Um, hmm, okay. Well, I actually have to look at my game again to compare it. It's very similar looking in some yeah. ways. Well, it's meant to. It's uh, just piggyback what you got. Like, uh, hmm, what is this here? I can't see it with the picture on it. I do like the idea of like keeping track of like how many allies, uh, species you've contacted, mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, and I, I think, actually, yeah, I, I don't like the the name civics. I've been trying to figure out a better name. Maybe governance is the better name. Because, yeah, you're right. It doesn't really make sense, the name. Like upgrades. I'm still trying to find a better word for upgrades. It's just It just has to have a plural. It can't be like culture because culture, it can't, I need it to be cultures or something like that. But yeah, upgrades is no good either. It could be um, uh, evolutions, or it would be like uh, 
because it's, it's like a cultural evolution almost in a sense, right? Like uh, upgrades is close. I like upgrade. Like, upgrade isn't so bad. It's yeah, it's not bad, but I mean, you pointed it out when, when you first started looking at the game, it doesn't really fit with the rest of them. Yeah. And, and it's not bad to describe the category of stuff, but at the same time, it doesn't, it just doesn't fit with the, the rest of the vocabulary being used there, I think. I can't, I just haven't been able to think of a better word. Let's see. I'm, at, I'm really low on metals. Like I, uh, I can't like the game is like I got it's really hurting me. I I can see that. Is that the true for everyone? Your metals are always your lowest. Metals and lanthanides usually become a problem for people if they don't manage the resources very well. But if you really get a lot of colonies, I mean, Christ, I mean, you're <laughs> how like how much longer have these other people been playing? Uh, they've been playing since November first. November first. So they're like four months ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, like, some of them have something like sixty colonies. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, I don't know about me, but my pace. Did I start on a bad planet? Like, and that's uh, no. Everyone bad. starts. Everyone starts on an equal planet. Oh yeah. Yeah. the 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 actual home planet is the same conditions for everyone. It's just that all of the. It's just everything else is randomized. Because that, like, what I saw at star system that had three water planets and three Teller planet like who the you find that and you win the game like i mean no nah, that's almost guaranteed they they've, they've terraformed those planets already oh they've terraformed them yeah cuz you can build terraforming ships oh and then terraform planets before you even colonize them if you want okay well that's a better idea yeah and some of them are obsessed with that so that's probably what you saw <laughs> like i i've just been work i've been did my first long research and it took like long time but to get the faster drive because i find you know the speedier ships really impacts everything yep that's a big difference uh yeah like eventually you'll get jump gates which you could travel between your star systems instantly okay but still to to travel to another star system that you don't control or just across space takes takes a long time if you don't have you know pretty good uh, uh pretty good propulsion system. So you see there's six people playing the game and you see them and you've been playing like how how is the interaction between the people? You said some of them they don't mm -hmm. want to have any war and a couple do or something or Yeah, a couple pretty much don't have any interest in, in warfare and a couple do, I guess. But that's not their only goal either. They're, they're, well, I guess ultimately they are trying to build up their empire so they can squash everyone else, though. <laughs> so there's been no, like, aren't they a little pissed that they're, the game's about to stop and they got to start over again? Uh, well, yeah, I've talked to them about that and I basically have decided that it's going to keep going. Yeah. And I'm also going to launch a second, second instance of, of the game on March 1st. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, they can join that one as well if they want, but they can also continue to play this one. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of time and effort put into getting <laughs> all of a sudden it's gone. You got to stop. <laughs> How are we doing in terms of people? Like, it doesn't, like, it, if we, to get 100 people, I think we've got, we've got to be attracting people at a higher pace. Yeah, so far 12 people have signed up, including, you know, the people that are already playing. So that's not really good because I sent out a message. Well, I haven't really... Like, I don't know how many of my friends are gamers, you know? Like, it's it's a big thing to play a game for some people, I think. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, honestly, I don't even really play games. <laughs> I play my game because I like it, because I made it. But, yeah, I, it's been a while since I've really wanted to spend that much of my life doing something like that. Right, I know. It's funny and same you. with the, most of my friends, too. They're all, you know, doing things. And so, yeah, I got to go outside of my friend circle to really find those people. Yeah, so we got to find, there's got to be a few sites that are just filled with gamers and we just have to do a couple messages and we should fill it. Mm -hmm. and I, I wanted to get as many of my people in as possible, but I don't know. They, again, it's hard to gauge with people. Some people, like I like games, but I don't play them all the time. And to get me to play a game is a major thing. Like it's a major time time thing and it's... Uh, um, 
and again, I'm doing because it's you and it's, you know, we're, we're linked and, you know, there, there's a lot of leverage for having the successful, I think. Um, and and I, I'm sorry, I like it, but I just, I guess recently it's also because my medals are low and because I know the game's going to end and because everyone's so much more powerful. It's, it's like, I feel like a little mosquito that's, that's going. Well, yeah, you're, you're really just kind of trying it out. At the, I mean, yeah, you, you're never going to be able to catch up with those people in the, in that instance, but I think... <laughs> The March first instance could be much more interesting to you because anyone you meet will either be slightly ahead of you or slightly behind you. Yeah. So it'll lead to a lot, a lot more reason for people to, you know, form alliances and to trade. Because I, I mean, I, yeah. So what do you think of the, what do you think of the look like? Um. Yeah. I, I'm kind of stuck, I guess, on my own color scheme. I guess a few people have suggested I change the way it looks, and I'm apparently resistant to that. I know, because because like you know what, like for what the game is, the front interface is still like I, I don't like the green, like green, like colors and numbers and stuff. It still looks a bit hokey. Hmm. You know, it looks like a level below that. If again, like if it wasn't me to bring in a designer who could just up it all, it would completely change how people see this game. Is it your front interface? It's the most important thing almost. Yeah, I think that's probably true. And I don't know, you know, if I've got it yet, but I, and to add in the, and I think what's missing, like this is again just a test, but I think that what we're aiming at is we're figuring out multiple chat room technology, right? And if we can figure it out in this game, we can move it to any game and then they can pay us for shit like that, right? Like, like, we're on to oh, some... yeah. I would like to create something with the help of other people that's that's a new thing different than this for sure and that's what we're doing like the, I, I mean I love this because you've done it right so you've got the knowledge of how to do it we could and I, I don't think it's going to be that tough to sort of now I see how you did it and I'm seeing how you're doing your screens and now it's like, okay, for like, cause I want to do the planetary guardians game, right? Which is real points for real stuff. Like, like to really jump a level above, combine our work, bring some other people in and have something that's actually going to help the species, you know, like there's all these gamers playing all this fucking shit and they waste, look how much time is wasted in games that if it was actually your life and you're playing, you know, you're playing your game like a life and it gave you the lifestyle you wanted. I mean, that's, that's fucking, you know, a massive breakthrough for our species. Don't you think? <laughs> I think so. Like, I mean, yeah, the, the, I, I, I don't think it's even possible to conceive how awesome a world it would be if, like, you know, all of the wasted energy was suddenly put to use because it's like 99.9% .9 of, of human society, basically. Like almost everything that everyone is doing all the time is a waste of time. And most of it, they don't even want to do. They're just stuck because of patterns, because of other waste of time systems that are there to, to either, you know, purposely do that or just because they're, they're there because they got there and they're still there and no one knows how to turn them off and no one thinks about it practically. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's huge, so massive waste of species energy at this point still. I'm sure that's why aliens are not our big best friends yet. <laughs> They're like, well, we'll wait till these guys wake up a little more. <laughs> or the only ones who are talking to us are the ones we don't want to. Well, and I think one of the beauties of what you've done is you, you have someone, by playing the game, you start thinking at the planetary level. And I think that's like, Kids are doing it in other games, but we all need to think at the planetary level. And then to, you know, just to actually see, wow, we put some more permaculture, we put some more of this, you know. I did try to see like a, a few small things in there that'll make people think like, oh, you know, philosophy, one of the first technologies you can get is permaculture. I, I, I hope at least a few people, if you know, a lot of people play this game, at least a few people will be like, oh, that, you know, I know some of these words, what's permaculture? And they'll look it up and they'll be like, oh, food forests and bioremediation, those are real things. And then also the global intergovernance, like just the idea that some sort of, you know, I actually think the idea itself is, is something that will happen one day and needs to happen where 
you know, not all the countries become one country and not all the countries give their power to one system. It's just instead they they form an agreement to work together instead of always working behind the scenes to stab each other in the back politically or economically or whatever. We're, we're not at that point yet still where our, where our planet is one planet, you know, is one is one people, is one culture. And that's, we're never going to move forward out into space and, you know, be able to talk on any level with any other culture out there until we're actually a unified culture ourselves. Yeah, and to me, there's there are groups of people who are trying to create the new world order, but they're mm. doing it to create like psychotic, insane control mechanisms where we don't get to move and we don't get to to say and think what we want. Yeah, I mean, uh, so yeah, I, I think the people yeah. have to take it in our hands and do it ourselves at some point, like a real evolution of our species. And again, people have to start learning how to think at the planetary level. And I, I think this could be a, a start. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I, I just see some really good things coming out of this. Like the game, you mean? Yeah. The game is a, a teaching mechanism. And it's also, if you can get 100 people to work together online anywhere, it's a, it, like, I'd like to take that and do it. Like, I love the idea of these hundreds maybe 144, but maybe there's something to the hundred. And then those people like go through an evolution of communication, like you would with a species and you get to know each other. And all of a sudden you may create real alliances or real friendships in life. And yeah. That, that's what deep down most humans, we want more connection. We want more friendship. We want more, you know, fun. We want more, more life. And, no, uh, and people love playing games. So to do it in, within this environment, I'm excited. I mean, I really, I want to dive deep into how to create these chat rooms because that's where I saw them in another game where they had individual chat, the Alliance chat and the galactic chat. And I told you that they were missing the team chats. It's just like me and you, like if we're just working and all of a sudden I could just chat in, pop in. I mean, we can in messenger, but I'm just saying like if the whole system is contained, right? Where we're working as a team to, to change the world to make it a better place and to do so with better software yes you know yeah i think and, and, i don't know i mean i think inevitably that's what's going to happen because someone's going to do it and actually right now that's it can be done in a way that that goes you know can can be integrated with the current incentives uh incentive systems that people are already following like we could design it so that it'll make money and investors will invest in it and you know blah 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 stuff if, if you align it a little bit you know with current uh, currents i guess it can move itself along you know and and also shape shape the waters around that kind of idea well i mean i i think it needs to go like whether this or the i mean definitely the inflow matrix and the, the game need to be on uh, cryptocurrency with its own token on the blockchain and utilizing all this technology to, you know, to, to, to fund itself and then to bring that new type of currency within the game, within your know, life. Like, okay, you know, yeah. yeah, actually speaking of which I had an idea once a few couple months ago, I was going to bring it up and I kind of never did, but you know, do you know like a little bit about how blockchain works? Tell me. It's like, well, the idea is that it's, um, I mean, right now, blockchain is used to, like, it's kind of purely mathematical, but essentially what it is, is it's a, it's a, um, a recorded kind of, like, conversation in mathematics that basically every time someone mines a Bitcoin or creates a Bitcoin, uh, it gets logged into this, this continuously ongoing recording that everyone has a copy of so that whenever, whenever there's any change, like someone sells a Bitcoin to someone else or a new Bitcoin is created, all of that is always recorded in every single record around the world of who all these people who own Bitcoins, that's, they're all have access to the same record and that's how uh, they keep it so secure or not exactly secure, but it's, that's how, that's why people trust the fact that it's, it is what it is and why they say, oh, blockchain is so amazing. It's because everyone has a, always has a running copy of every single transaction and every single thing that's ever happened with the currency. 
and they it basically can't be hacked or changed because they have they have to change and hack every single computer that ever has one and a lot of those people's computers they're they're kept offline on purpose like they're on a USB stick you can have your bitcoin sitting on a USB stick in a cupboard somewhere and yet uh, so no one i mean no one can update those records and change some transaction somewhere so anyway my idea was like what if we had a something like similar to that but like blockchain discussions where they can never be altered they're permanently recorded they're continuously ongoing you know thing that builds and you know they can never be censored exactly or 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 changed or altered or anything because they're they're using the blockchain technology i don't think anyone's ever tried that it's all just a math thing right now blockchain and for money that would be a living story that could be the proof of what occurred right yeah and you know just like there's so many different cryptocurrencies for a new a different conversation you'd have an, another another you know conversation currency or whatever you want to call it where it's another complete recording again so they wouldn't have to all be stuck into one thing as well huh. but i just think it'd be interesting yeah so you'd have a chat room or, or an app or some sort of technology that would that would allow people to insert their thought into that chain and it would add to the chain and everyone else would automatically get updated and so that you know that person whatever they said can't be ever changed I mean, we could have that for the remedies. You could pop out the remedy and it goes onto the blockchain. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't think that needs to be permanently recorded. Hey, what did you think of, did you get the, uh, the remedy PDF? No, I, uh, oh, did you send it again? Because the, yeah. I said, oh, okay. I haven't looked do you, yet. Do you want to take a look at that? Okay, just a sec. So this is the, how you want the save as to be saved? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, can you post it? Sorry. Can you post the PDF? I mean the the PNG. Uh, post it to where? Right here. Just put a share as I want to. Oh. Uh, just a sec. Save it or something first. So we're also a go at five, right, with Andrew? Yep. I've got a crazy busy day, but I'm going to make it a priority to try to be here as you know, likely as possible at five o'clock on the dot. Okay. Not sure if I can do this. Man. Where are you? I've lost our conversation. Ah, here we are. Uh, you want me to put it like in the chat thing? Uh, no, bring it up right now. Share it on the screen and let's talk about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? So, share. Okay. Can you see it there? Can't see it yet. Oh. Uh, Something's happening. Yeah. Oh, bless it. Can you see it now? Uh, no. Okay, what the hell? Actually, I won't. I'm not seeing it either. What do you what do you see? Are you sharing? Gimmickminus.com <laughs> test. Okay, yeah. Uh how the hell do I click on? Okay. You share. I think I clicked the wrong window here. Fuck. <laughs> It's not letting me share it for some reason here. Let me just try again, just a second. Uh, 
don't know if I can share the PDF here. So. Ah, okay. How about that? There we go. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, I guess obviously there's a few things that need to be filled in here, like action step, remedy number, facilitator. Yeah. Uh, insights. Yeah. So how do you, how do you, Matt, or how do you envision that? Well, th this would like for for save as PDF. Uh, whatever is their remedy spell would come up in the in the spots where they are right here. Like in the the three the three cards, you mean, right? Yes. So the cards would go on top of where the cards are. The the question would go where the question is. The date the date would go where the date goes. Um, the Action step and insight is left blank because that's the page that they're going to use. Oh, okay. And then the remedy numbers, we start to count through like this is, they have to sign up for membership for this. They have to sign up to be on our email list. For, oh, yeah. People to like, for, yeah. Say about this. like this would be level one membership. And yep. then because of that, then they get, they get, they get the ability to save as. And there, there also has to be a thing I forgot with their name. Their name has oh, that make sense, then. but yeah, maybe just above the date. And so uh, I noticed, like the conversation or combo type has two white boxes. The other one has one each. What's what that's, are those? That's like I made this for a physical mastermind where people were just going to write it in. So I gave a spot for the actual combo type and then the description. On the other two, they write on the actual wheel, the lens, what the word is. But there wasn't combo types is a bit different than the lenses. Okay. So that's why that's different. I mean, they're just play basically for you, they're placeholders to show, okay, yeah. show you where they go. But it, it just whatever's going to go, there's going to be the combo type they get for the remedy spell. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Okay. So, so you yeah. print this out on their printer and boom, they have the spell. All of a sudden, they have it, it printed in front of them and then they can answer, you know, and as they're going through their online remedy, they can fill it in. Or if they do it by themselves, they could fill it in, right? But it gives them something physical. They, they can go into like a spell book. I guess yeah. the Remedy Oracle spell sheet. I guess I should call it spell sheet, eh? Uh, hmm, maybe. Or what do you think? Hmm. I don't know. I think just the way it is is okay. Remedy Oracle... No, I think you should just leave it like this because it has a, it has, a, it's going to have a different question. The spell is going to be different there. And like in some instances, I think it's better not to label things too much because then people can interpret them themselves. So okay. some people might not want to think of it as a spell, for instance. Right. That's what I was thinking. Be confused or, or weirded out by the word spell and like, yeah. you know, think of witchery or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so is th so this is something they can print. Is this also the way that you want the spell to be saved if they're not intending to print it? If they're just intending to like post it on Facebook or save it to a folder or something, they probably would would want something more simplified, right? Like just the way it shows on the Oracle itself.
You know what I mean? Okay, sorry, I was just doing something. Say it again. Okay, um, like, so this is the way they're going to save it if they want to print it. But if they want to just say, uh, they just want to save it to their folder or share it on Facebook or something like that. Okay, then that be, would be like as a PNG, and then it would just be like the question, <laughs> the intention, just simple, right? Just the three spells. Yeah. More like more like the way it appears on the Oracle itself, probably, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, do you need me? Can you did? Can you build this on your own, or do you need me to send you anything? Um. Let's see. No, this is good the way it is. And oh, hey, uh, the remedy number. So that's like, that's just going to count up. Like the yeah. first person uses it, gets a one. The second person gets yeah. a two. Or, well, no, no, yeah. like the, the, the everyone like you, you it's counted the number of spells that you do. Oh, okay. So that's a personal number. So my fifth yeah. spell is going to be five. Yeah. So we, okay. need to, we need to keep track. Like we have to have them in our database and we need to keep track of them. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's no problem. Um, oh yeah. Action step. I forgot what you said there. Is that something they write in themselves? Yeah. That's like, they go through the experience, they have it, and uh, then it's up to them to figure out, okay, well, what am I going to do about it, right? They're asking a question usually to, to help with something. They don't necessarily have to take an action step, but it's, it's like you're getting insights to leading you towards your best next step or leading you to sort of answering whatever the question is answering. So putting an action step in is just a way to follow up on that. Uh, Chinoa brought that in. It was a really good point. Like a true remedy needs action. Well, yeah, that would be smart. And I just, I somehow in my communication with you and Andrew, I blew it in terms of uh, he was waiting for us yesterday. Um, oh. Hey, can you give me two minutes? I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Problem. So I, I'm sorry. Okay. Here. So, uh, what were you saying about Andrew? Um, it looks well. We sort of had a miscommunication about. He thought we were meeting yesterday for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, we're just clearing that right now. Oh shit. Uh, but he he doesn't. He can't meet today because he I think he restructured meeting someone yesterday to do something from today and so now he can't do it again so we'll have to set up another meeting okay uh, and he what was tomorrow uh, what are you available Friday at the same time uh that is is that tomorrow uh tomorrow yeah tomorrow tomorrow I am more available tomorrow um what time would be good hmm um, let's see. Probably either same time, like one o'clock would be pretty good. If that would be all right. Okay. I'm meeting someone tomorrow and we're hanging out for a while, but I don't know when and, and for how long. <laughs> um, but 10 o'clock is, I won't be there yet for sure. Okay. So what, I'm just asking right now if we can meet tomorrow at one okay. So what's going on in terms of the uh, next steps that got to take place? Have you been working on it at all, or as as a, a new member for the spell you mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I don't know. If that, I uh, in the end I don't know if Jack has any time to be honest here. I thought she was going to be kind of jumping on board and helping me out, and she doesn't have the time. I don't think she has the time really to, to get into it. 
so maybe kind of once in a while she'll help or something. I don't know, but at this point she's she I've been kind of waiting, but she hasn't really stepped up and been like, hey, you know, I, I have some time. <laughs> so I'll ask her a couple more times here and there, but you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead myself and yeah, I'm work on this tomorrow. So I think Andrew can help with the design side if he if he puts his mind to it, and it would be more. And what is his skill set again? I forgot. He's more graphic designer, but he works with social media quite a bit too. He's good with tech stuff, good with video okay. stuff, um, good with media stuff. He used he made a bunch of uh, I'm saying thirty minutes to an hour. We could probably get through in thirty minutes. So you have to figure out the, okay, so, so we got to find someone who's, is it a CSS design, phone design master? Yeah, they just call them like responsive design. If they know responsive, like if they're good at responsive design, that's what we want. Because yeah, responsive just means the design they can do will respond to different sizes, basically. That's what they call it. But can you, can you, can you figure it out? Um, uh, yeah, but it's all trial and error for me, and I can only trial and error with the phones I have. I'm not, it's can't you watch one video that teaches you how to do it? Like, if somebody can do it in 10 minutes, somebody already figured out how to do it, right? Well, I mean, yeah, I can try to learn it, yeah, and become a responsive designer as well. But I'm just saying, like, it doesn't like to be able to size. A simple HTML thing or whatever in that phone so that it fits to all the phones. That can't be a hard thing. That's it's gotta be some program that does that or it's some hmm. Well I, I don't know. I mean, like I say, I'm a programmer. I'm not a very good designer. <laughs> I could try some more, but it will it will speed the things up and, and make things better quality if we have someone who already knows how to do that professionally. I know, but the, th the thing is, if we right now, I don't want to wait anymore. I just want to fucking keep going. If we get done with people, just do what me and you, just me and you do it kind of thing. Well, I mean, that that is going to have to change. Anyway, like we need, we really need more IT people on board. I can be the director if, if that's still a good idea and I know but we, we hold need the space to... and keep them the core of everything functional but i actually uh, got accepted into university and i'm starting a bachelor's degree on march 1st as well are yes. you kidding me in a software of in software of engineering university? yeah a c plus plus I'll be making PlayStation and Xbox games and like professional stuff, like high quality programming. But yes, I will be going to university soon. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> like this, this is, this could be the best fucking software program on the fucking planet. And you're the only fucking guy who's doing anything. And we've done, how much should we do in so little fucking time? No fucking help. And you want to go to a fucking university? I have been avoiding it my whole life, but I need to, you know, I need to get upgrade, my career. Like Your upgrade, I mean, being the IT director for the fucking inflow matrix is, is, is the career of a lifetime. It's like, it's like yes. you're going to some university to learn some skills rather than be sit in command and actually fucking do something that's going to help the fucking planet. I would like to do both. I just, I just don't fucking understand you people. It's so depressing. This just fucking depresses me. It's like I, I'm showing gold. I'm doing gold and it means nothing to you. It's, it's like it's just 
means nothing. No, it means a lot. And I really like it. You're going to have no time. We, we won't even finish this fucking thing. We can't no. even finish. We've been waiting for, you know, this stuff. If we if we just fucking focus, we get it done. You know, fuck everything else. Just fucking get this done and you'll have the best thing in, of your career done. You know, millions of people are going to go into this remedy thing. It's going to solve people. Like I watch it. It solves people's fucking problems. You know, it's, it's, it's a thousand times more valuable than anything you'll fucking get in that fucking university. And we did it. Not somebody else teaching you how to do something. You fucking did it. And it starts everything else. A whole new fucking economic system. Whole new fucking paradigm. Who the fuck is doing it out there? Other people who have the power, but not us. I spent 25 years of my fucking life designing this fucking thing. No one paid me. Not having fun, sitting in a fucking coffee shop. Why? Because it's the need of the fucking moment. Our species is going to go like down to nothing. Because none of us are fucking doing the right things. I don't fucking believe people. You know, what happens if you get a job? 200 grand. You get two million bucks and all of a sudden you, you know what if we, if we got funding would you go to university would you rather go to university than actually get paid for doing this work no no i would rather get paid for doing this work so if, I, if i got enough money because what like if it's like do you understand the need of the moment yep You know, but I'm 38 years old and I'm you're, you're what? I'm 38 years old and I'm I'm you know unable to un unable to currently buy my freedom basically. Well, you think you're gonna make money going to university? You're gonna make money with your game, you're gonna make money with what I with what we're doing. You're yeah. gonna spend money. You go to university, you spend 30 grand, come out four years later, and you got what everyone else has. You need a master's or PhD to actually do something with your university. You're 38. It's entrepreneur time. It's not go to university time. You want to spend your money having a bunch of people teach you things that are, might be irrelevant compared to what you're actually doing to get a degree, which fundamentally means almost nothing out there these days. Mm -hmm. Rather than be at the beginning of Microsoft with the guy who's invented a new software system and you're the only fucking programmer who's listening to him right now. So you're in the, you get the top. You're at the, you think in, you know, if I gave, raised 20 million, I didn't know you, you'd fucking come to my door. You wouldn't, you'd be fucking lucky to get a job as a programmer, but there'd be a hundred other programmers who are ahead of you with experience. That's true. This is like, because you are doing what you're doing, you have access to this, you know, to, to, to really do something because of you. And you want to give that or you, all of a sudden you got 30, 40 hours. Like I know fucking university, it takes all your fucking time. You won't have time to do fucking squat. Hmm. And that money, you know, <laughs> and we could be making like, we're not that far. We've got it even, at, we got a team. And every one of them I've been working with for years. But there's a whole bunch of there's 20, 30 other people who are just sitting on the fence going, yeah, nah, nah, because because it's just me talking again. Rather, than software is me actually showing you, no, look, this is a way to do it. Yeah. First time. And it works. And it works. Think about when millions of people are using that. And that's just the start of all the other shit that I got maps and designs and a, a closet full of shit. That's, I know. I that's, know. Just, that's why I'm here. Just the, <laughs> so, I mean, that's why I'm here.
Yeah, I can honestly, like from the start, I've seen what you're doing and I've been confused and curious because I don't really know the full scale of it, but you know, I've always been quite sure that it is, you know, a massive upgrade and I don't know, some sort of secret holistic system that's going to work. I don't want to be involved. But the, you know, I have to do other things with my life too. And I don't want them to get in the way for sure. Speechless. I mean, over and over again in my in my life, I've been in positions where something sabotages the project. Something takes it out, takes me out, takes whatever. Computer stolen, this gone. Thought you're going with someone. No, we changed our mind, or actually, we're just not going to pay attention to you anymore over and over again to the point where, I mean, you know, for three years, even in Duncan, I was, you know, barely moving. I'm so demoralized. So these are the people you're supposed to be working with. These are the people you're actually helping. These are the people you're showing something, but when it actually comes down to it, they don't get it. We don't have a holistic operating system. We don't have value-based ethical systems. We don't have a communication system that actually works with our shadow. These don't exist. And we're in this corporate freaking mind frame of freaking robotization going into transhumanism based upon some freaking occult bloodlines that are just fucking with us and the people just sit there look i mean they're sheep they're just like here wear the mask go here go and we're just dumb okay okay they talk a little bit online but nobody's doing squat to protect the children of the generations to come and you think these institutionalized universities have any fucking idea of how to come up with some holistic solution that's actually going to work? No. But oh, I as I said, I mean, nobody would has the, the insanity to sit down and live like a dog and just fucking design conceptually for 25 years. Like usually put someone in a prison to go do something like that. So I can't comprehend any more, you know, the people around me, you know, show me something better. Show me something better than what I have. And you're going to school to go find something better. No, you're finding technical skills that you'll fucking pick up way quicker by actually doing it. You want to be a director of IT? Have you ever coordinated large groups of software engineers to build a big product? Have you? Well, fuck, man. You have a chance to, but no, you're going to go, no, I can spend all my time learning stuff, paying for it, while the best opportunity in my life is like sinks because I go, fuck that fucking shit. You know, I have a loyalty to you, no, because you're actually doing this from the good of your heart and we've done something. I'm not going to throw you out or get like, I'm just angry. I'm just angry because I can't, like at the last second, you're, you, it's just like another fucking, you know, you're the only one really popping out some work. Everyone, we're just waiting. We, we have to wait until this one product is done. And, and to get it to the phone, I mean, aren't there places we can find people online? You're an IT guy. Why don't you recruit some people? Like, do I have to do everything else? You don't think I have a lot to do? Do I need I to do try to recruit some more people. work or should I get some help? Well, yeah, I'm. So if you, I mean, I as an sure IT right director, here. don't you have responsibility? If you need some people, well, let's figure out a way to get them. Okay. You know, but no, like go read some more books, you know, for the next four years and come out with some abstract theory, a few more skills. And oh, meanwhile, the whole planet is like four years more in the like we have 10 years, we have five years, we have eight years. We only have a certain window of time, I think, for us to get our act together. 
because at some point it's exponential and the whole thing just fucking goes off. There's so many bad things coming together at once. We need a fucking enlightenment. Maybe this to me is part of it is like the pressure of seeing what's happened. And when I just don't speak or I disassociate or don't say what I really think because I just, I'm so pissed off, but then I go away and now oh, there's another thing gone. And maybe it's enough, it's pressure for me to go get some fucking money so we can pay you and pay me and pay whoever to do the fucking work. This is worth it. We're on a billion dollar software program. People usually get hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, people like us to build this shit. But this is already designed. It's not like we have an idea, maybe it'll happen. The whole thing is designed. This needs to be put together. And we'll transform communication for our species. We've got like Graham Bell on the phone, man. We've got a totally different communication system. Something to build, something called the share knowledge community to get all these good people on the planet in a new economic system. And actually take your game, figure out the construct and start on that. Like it couldn't get any better. We got Luciel, a whole foundation starting to use the tools that are they're doing breakthrough curriculum design my stuff's in there. There's going to be 144 people ready and waiting to, to utilize whatever we have. And there's another hundred cultures, communities out there. There's like thousands of groups of people that want to come together and build a whole new economic system. And we're the guys building it. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? You need Jesus to come in here walking walk? Hey, Noah, guess what? Noah. If you don't fucking build the fucking ark, oh no, I gotta go to university. Noah, you're all gonna die. No, but I think I gotta get a degree. I, I just don't feel as if I'm, you know, got together all everything that I need. Yeah, Noah. Good plan. Good plan. Elijah, Elijah <laughs> talks with fucking God. And Elijah has to talk to all you other motherfuckers and say, wake the fuck up. Well, so tomorrow at one with Andrew. Yes, that works. Does it? Did he confirm that? Yeah, he did. Okay. Wow. Well, I got to say, you're, you just, you're a good listener. I was, yeah, I wasn't sure how you're going to take that, but that's the news that I have today. <laughs> well, for anyone watching, I was recording, so if they want to know how Captain Sweep is, <laughs> didn't take that too well, did he? Well. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> you motherfucker. I'm going to have to get some fucking money then. <coughs> no, just we just need a few more volunteers. Fuck. Don't worry about the money thing right now. I just want to get this built. It shouldn't be so hard to get the fucking phone to fucking work with this fucking fucking thing fuck 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 <laughs> <coughs> you know uh yeah i can try to find some more people too i know a few spots like there's some websites out there where you can post volunteer jobs and people are always looking for those we can potentially get like another dozen people a week well but then i think what we need to do is have someone on board whether it's you me or one of our other team members to be willing to onboard those people i will onboard you i will but, onboard but and you really want to be the person who does all of that like you're just saying like we have 10 people I, I, i'm very interested in when people first come in and when they leave so ingestion and extrusion on the team i want them to know me and I want them to know understand what they're getting into 
Okay. Basically, the guy is going to bring the people in, and I'm going to be the guy who kicks them out. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I will. I didn't know if you wanted me to do that or not. Like. Yes. You know. I. Yeah. I. I will try to find people myself as well, and then I will contact you and say, "Hey, I have George. Yeah. You know, can you meet? Blah blah blah." And. Yeah. yeah. Like, make this like a James Bond. Like we need to find this one guy now or a girl to help us out, and let's do it. And then figure out this phone thing and start to get so when something needs to get done. We can focus, get the next thing done. What's the next? What's the next? What's the next? And then it's fucking done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, even if I am going to school in March, things are not going to slow down. As long as we get a couple other people on board and keep going with what we're doing, it will speed up still. Okay. Because I can check in with them and say, hey, have you done that design? You know, hey, I need that graphic thing. Hey, we're having a meeting on blah, 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 you know, and with more people and some sort of you know plan and structure and direction we can have a team of people doing this for free and they're all not working towards necessarily a salary that they're going to get out of the system or something they're working towards the idea that this is a really good system and they want to support it and they have skills that they want to practice and, and that's the kind of people we want to think. and we can yeah. we can find them you know no I, and i agree but and but i do at some point want to have a way to reward people. So, but I just know that rewards need to go to the people that are doing the work, right? So, and until we get going, it's going to be a little difficult, but I agree with you well, with what you're saying. Yeah, and like one one reward that they, we can already give them or promise them is, you know, their, their names are going to be on the credits for the, the software that we're designing, right? And that actually helps people a lot because if they're looking for a job or another, right? You know degree or something they can say hey i worked on this volunteer project for this for this nonprofit or this whatever whatever that's you know out there now they've got ten thousand people using this software they got a million using this one and i helped build all the design of this that's huge that's yeah. worth a career to them yeah you know that's think? all people want sometimes is a really good reference so they'll volunteer <sighs> you just gotta adapt and evolve everything's still going <laughs> hey you, you haven't really given me some strokes for the the design uh no the the uh game of planets yeah yeah no i think it's really good and I'm, I'm going to use your governance uh name instead of civics because that never fit and yeah I have to think about the communication thing because you're right it's not really there in my game and that was sort of on purpose like I said early on it's it, you know like I don't want I didn't want people chatting like like humans talking to each other playing a game I wanted people to be immersed in the game itself and so they could send a political message you know they could propose a certain treaty and stuff but they couldn't just talk back and forth because then it, it, to me it 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 makes it one step closer to just turn into a chat room that part of the game no but and you, then people don't take it seriously anymore and they're like just babbling each other and then some people just goof off the whole time and i get you but you know what i would want i would want like part of using zoom but people have to use backgrounds for starships and and you have to and you have to dress like a commander and you have to and then you're you're like jim's like i'm like james kirk and and and, and it's filmed that. And I would love that. And you know how you know how they have filters and backgrounds for Zoom? I would like actually the opposite, where they, they have they would have a filter for the face and it would make them look like an alien and then right. change the voice. Right. And then, and then that implements through the game. And I have so many ideas like that that I want to put into the game if I can just get it launched and popular enough that I can get some funding for it to like do the graphics, do the sound, you know, make them professional and good, and then add video and add, you know. Because, yeah, it, I, I have a lot of stuff built in that it can expand to well, know, the, I uh, think, beyond that kind of stuff as well. Well, and I, I think that we got to aim at that. I think, like, I'm always interested at always improving and always sort of uh, getting better. And so, to me, that's, like, I'm seeing this as massive. Like, I mean, this is what we're doing with nothing. Imagine if we had, like, five million bucks and a real studio and a place that... You know, to live in the forest that had the the you know you know the way i want to live my life is to to continually be working on this but in a beautiful place and totally. 
and, I want to. and everyone is, you know, you know, like our eco village, but kind of like a tech city, right? Where we're kind of like, you got both, best yes. of both worlds. Yeah, like I always thought, I proposed to the eco village, but I always thought it'd be cool to have like a little Cobb dome somewhere on the land where there's there's power and, and internet running underneath the ground. So you can't see it into that little Cobb Cobb house that would seat maybe three, four, 10 people, depending on what it was for. And you have a big screen in there, you have speakers in there, you have nice comfy chairs. It's suddenly like you're inside, you know, a 21st century, not house, but 21st century kind of living room or whatever. Uh, and it's a communication hub or it's an interactive map for the actual eco village that you can use or whatever, you know, communications thing to other eco villages. But as soon as you step out of that Cobb thing, it just looks like this interesting Cobb dome. You know, no matter how loud the sound is in there, you can't hear it because it's wall thick of, of dirt and everything. And I think that would be like I'd always I'd always wanted to build a place that blends technology with permaculture and stuff like, you know, a lot of those places they they want to just throw out technology, you know, get as far away as they can from it and go back to the, the land and everything. I think there's there needs to be a balance because we can't go backwards as a species either. We just need to go, you know, we just need to to blend things in a, in a good way, not throw out all the technology. Yeah. You know, just use it for like, I don't know, anyway. Well, I mean, look at the military sophistication of their software and hardware and technology, how much funding they get. And then imagine if, if even a quarter of that funding went into educational or spatial, whatever it was, right? I mean, we'd be very advanced, very quick. Yeah, imagine if the entire, you know, education system and therefore industry systems were actually working towards making the planet a better place and societies better and like it's ridiculous that that's not what everyone's working towards it's it's we're working towards you know keeping a system going and keeping the money flowing and the products continuously destroyed and, and rebuilt so that we can buy them again and blah 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 and it's just so much waste of energy it's ridiculous and i'm sure that you know like um i can't remember his name but like this the smart guy anyway yeah i'm sure that you know in in 100 years time 200 years time we will look back at this period of history as the worst history period ever in human society where we had the technology the means the the abilities to to do way beyond what we are doing and instead you know this is like a it's a totally different kind of dark age where we have massive power and ability and everything but we're just squandering it all as a species because of the systems that we're agreeing to participate in they're just like burying everything and that's the system is now almost entirely bent on making sure everything continuously get buried otherwise it will just destroy the system instantly because of its like bright light <laughs> and, and you know possibility and, you know it's and it can only lead to just a complete overthrow and you know, revolution of everything because it's it's inevitable because it's just so ridiculous, and and the systems themselves are coming up against massive, you know, they they have to re-engineer themselves every decade to to bury more and more of this stuff just because it's so easy for everyone to do. It's inevitable anyway that it's it's going to change, and what we're doing is just part of that huge tide. And anyway, also I have to go. I, I got to go meet someone and my, my busy day is starting. Yes. Okay. Nice chatting. And uh, we shall speak as we shall. You know, tomorrow morning o'clock. Uh, come with all of the uh, programs we've created so far. Okay. I want to go quickly through them with him and show him what we've done and then see where he wants to jump in, if he wants to jump in. Okay. One o'clock tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Okay, 30 minutes to an hour, depending. 30 minutes if we can if we can do it, but if we wanna if we wanna jam a bit, we can go longer, but it might be just nice to do a quick one. All right, sounds good. Okay. All right, see you.